They want to know what's next for Chris. What have I been up to? Who have I been hanging out with? Where am I going next? Okay, so let's just get to the art. Uh, yeah, we've got some art. It is an art vlog. I actually thought about changing the name from Guts and Glory to something else because if you've done some YouTube searches and whatnot, there is another Guts and Glory out there. Maybe I should change the name. I don't know, what do you guys think? Drop a comment, let me know. So yeah guys, just wanna say thanks for taking this ride with me and i appreciate it nothing but love and respect i appreciate you guys for tuning in every tuesday what's up guys welcome to episode 48 of guts and glory this is chris collins of o2 artistry or 02a for short i want to give a big shout to lamont 626 for the beats we go way back to the grade school days, of course, and I just want to say thanks again for the fresh beats, my man, and keep up the good work. Love it. So here we are again, guys, a week later, starting out with this pen and ink piece. Uh, this one has some different elements involved. Uh, first off, we've got the skull and bones representing death, and one of the bones has a broken tip, which can be used as a weapon. A vial of magic potion floats to the side. What is this potion? Could it be a love elixir of some type? Maybe. There's a flawed or cracked diamond representing imperfection. The beautiful rose fills up most of the page. And lastly, there is a Valentine's Day candy heart. And yes, I know we are quite some time away from Valentine's Day, but the candy heart reads, No Love Lost. Let me be clear when I say not every piece of art I create has something to do with what's going on currently in my own life. Sometimes, yes. Maybe even most of the time. I just want to say something. In the past, I've been open about my relationship struggles and whatnot. With that being said, my relationships are no one's business but my own. If I choose to put it out there, I will. It's my choice. If I don't wanna put it out there, that's also my choice. And frankly, it's no one's business unless I make it your business. If I don't put out my relationship status, it's for a reason, okay? And when I'm ready, I'll let you guys know. Sound good? Cool, man. Okay, so explain this to me, young Watsy, the artist. Okay, so... Point to each thing and tell me what it is. What's that? No, oh, start one at a time. What's that? A brain. Okay, and then what else? A lock, right? Yeah. All right. Who's that? Jan Janky. Janky, yep. Yeah. All right, and what's up with that? That's a fingered hand. A fingered hand? Yes. Oh, I see the, the fingers. I thought you said it was a crazy hand. I think this is called a crazy hand. Okay, what else? What's up with that guy? Is he throwing up? No, he's a snotty man. Yeah, snot coming out his nose. This is called, <laughs> it was, called my what? snot cone. All right, what else? What's up with that guy? That's a saber-toothed tiger. Oh, sweet. All right. What else? What's up? A tap. Like a hat? Yeah. Oh, almost. I like it. It's almost. I like it. That's really cool. It's almost, but it's like an armor mask. No, it is a cap. Okay, what else? Uh, oh, an armored mask. I see. An armored mask. You got it right. That is really neat. I like it. It's like a bandana. All right, that's a key, okay. What's beside it? Hey, can I get my art 
It's a drilling. It's an axe. I mean, it's a drilling. It's a driller. A driller? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, what else? I mean, we already, already did, did that. that. Yeah. All right, yeah. what's next? What about this? What? Right here at the bottom. Oh, that's oh, a lightning bolt. Sweet. What's beside it? A ghost? Her, a ghost. Oh, I see. She's a ghost. I see. It's almost like in the artist story. Yeah, you're right. Wow, dude. And. and art show. <laughs> now you want to. What's this? Uh, a rose. Nice. I like it. It almost looks like one. Okay, so why'd you draw all this? It's because I wanted you to like it. I love it. In episode 47, I completed this digital art for the event coming up this weekend. The theme is all about the mods versus rockers, and I decided to turn this digital art slash graphic design piece into posters to sell at the event. Again, the broken switchblade represents peace, and the chained hearts symbolize unity. This piece was a lot of fun, and it allowed me to think outside of the box. Uh, I'm not used to working with this particular theme, but I enjoyed it, and it was definitely a challenge. Hope to see you guys at the event this weekend taking place on September 24th and 25th. For more information, check out riverviews.net. I will see you guys on Saturday at Three Roads Brewing. Stop by my table around 1 p.m., say hi, and buy a poster. So yeah, I'll have two sizes of posters available, and I think they turned out pretty damn good. If you guys think so please give the video a thumbs up and comment how much you like it appreciate it guys also this friday on september 24th at sundog art studios i will have some art hanging on the walls for the grand opening just want to say big shout to jennifer gilly the owner of sundog studios go check out sundog art studios at 815 main street in lynchburg virginia the open house is from 2 to 5 p.m. and invitation only banquet from 6 to 9 p.m. So yeah, for the grand opening at Sundog Studios, I'm creating some new art. And I decided to redirect this art I bought at Goodwill recently. As you can see here, I'm starting out with the white Sharpie paint pen. And I use this to just go right in and work on a loose sketch. Map out where I want to go with this thing. Uh, definitely don't get too serious with this uh, part of the process. It's basically like using a pencil to sketch. Then, using golden acrylics and a larger brush, I apply a decent base coat of white paint. You can start to see where I'm going with this, and I'll show you guys the finished piece on episode 49 of Guts and Glory. So until then, guys, I just want to say thanks again. Appreciate all the love and support. Big up, nothing but respect. Until next time, peace. Peace.